Okay, sorry it's been such a long time since our last video. There's been so much going on in the mail, so I thought I'd show you some of this today. So two weeks ago, we released our new Guernsey yarn. So I thought I'd show you some of this today. So this is the new shades. So these two here are from the old batch. And then these are our gorgeous new shades. Okay, so we've kept the dark olive, bright olive, and we've got a navy. And then we have the new additions, like the rust and black turquoise, which is my favourite. Okay, so these are the colours. Right, so I've got them on the skeins as well, so you get a better idea of the colour. So this is the navy. This one is Caramel Brown, which is a nice tonal shade. Sorry, I put it next to my skin and then you can get a better idea. Right, this one is called Brownish Grey. So the idea behind the name is in different lights it looks completely different. So if you're in a darker light it looks grey and lighter it goes brown. Or vice versa. So right now it's quite grey, I think. But as soon as I take it into the natural light, can you see the brown? Um, so yeah, we were undecided on what to call this one because it just kept changing no matter where we put it up. We have our rust orange. This is a really nice bright orange, which is a bit calms down when you put it closer. But this will be really nice with the Guernsey colour work. It'll be really pretty. And then we have the two greens. So this is a dark olive. And then we have the bright olive, which looks quite lemony. So these are them together. And then we've got my favourite. So this is black turquoise. This is such a nice shade. It's got the greens, it's got the blues, it's just like a metallic-y, kind of like blue, green, turquoise shade. It's really nice. I purchased some of this ready to make a jumper. Um, we are already low in stock, I think, because it's my favourite and loads of other people have really loved it too. So yeah, this is black turquoise. Um, we also have a new pattern designed by Rita Taylor. So this is a new Guernsey. So it's called the Anchor Guernsey. And then you can see the nice anchor motif appearing in the middle there. So she's done all the stitch work, um, played with the motifs. So you've got the arrows going down. On the back, you've got the diamonds in the middle. And it's a nice jumper. The bottom half is like garter and stocking and ribs. So yeah, this is our new project kit. So this is available on the website. Um, we pop together the project kits. So once you buy it, you'll be able to buy and select the amount of yarn you will need for the jumper. Um, I would say this sample is quite short in length for me, at least. I'm quite tall. Um, so yeah, you might need to add or buy an extra ball just to give you a bit more length. It's completely up to you though. But my per personal preference is to go a bit longer in the length. So yeah. So this one was knitted in pale grey, um, which is 100 gram balls. We've also got our traditional Guernsey. So this is a um, lovely big Guernsey jumper. You can see all this beautiful stitch work. I believe it's based off the Cornish motifs for the Guernseys, if that makes sense. Um, so normal Guernseys, the different parts of the motifs represent for different areas. So lots of them are normally like Whitby, um, other places in Yorkshire and then even like the Cornish ones. So 
from my understanding I believe it's the two ropes here so the two cables that is a traditional Cornish Guernsey or part of a traditional Cornish Guernsey um, that's my understanding of it anyway so yes we have this on our website as well as part of a project kit and then obviously because it's Guernsey it's quite tightly knitted but if you would like to match it we have the brownish grey which is a similar colour to the sweater well, I'm also wearing my jumper so this is using the Guernsey yarn so I use the navy and the bright olive to do the boxes um, it's a really nice sweater I think it's quite clever as well um, this was my first jumper that I've ever made um, so I'm quite proud of it anyway I'll put the link underneath so you'll be able to see the pattern and the yarn so that is our new Guernsey range so I think these three are my favourite colours so that is dark olive, black turquoise and bright turquoise they just bring out each other and make it pop you can see how the black tur turquoise changes colour in the different lights it's really nice and I'll show you the naturals and so brownish grey and caramel it's good dark olive so you can see how it's changing the colours around and then we've got the navy and the rust so our Guernsey yarn it is a five ply yarn okay so each single is spun to a certain weight so we've got five singles in this yarn so if I unwrap it slightly can you see there's those ends there there are five of those um, to make up our five ply so because there's five ends it makes it quite tight and sturdy you can see there's not much give in it Guernseys are traditionally worn by fishermen and miners and yeah anyone who's got like an outdoorsy job probably farmers as well an outdoors job who feel the cold um, the Guernsey is normally worn by them because of the construction of the yarn so this is a five ply yarn um, and it's knitted on really tight needles so because it's so tight it's quite dense so it's windproof and in theory it's slightly like waterproof so if you do get rained on it should just repel the water um, this is also due to the lanolin in the sheep's fleece so once we scour all the fleeces and it gets processed we don't super wash it so it's just the natural fleece that you get back so because a slight bit of lanolin left in that is the water repellent um, so whenever you might notice whenever you block your jumper it takes a while for it to soak in you have to kind of like push your jumper in or push your item in um, that's due to mainly the lanolin um, kind of like not wanting to absorb the water so the Guernsey jumpers are ideal to keep you nice and warm keep you dry um, just because of the quality um, especially with it being a five ply yarn and knitted on such tight needles um, yeah you normally find me at the show I'm either wearing this or another jumper or even sometimes a big Guernsey jumper just because it keeps you nice and warm and toasty so this batch of Guernsey which is the latest in our new seven shades so ignoring those ones yep seven shades all the fibre has come from one farm so it is Romney fibre and it's all come from one farm in Herefordshire um, which is really nice so we managed to create one whole batch from one farm um, we can trace it back to the farm um, which is really nice about our products we keep um, we keep a record and a trace 
of where all the fibroids come from. So we're able to pinpoint which farm it is and whereabouts in the UK it's come from. So to know all of it is from one farm is really, really nice. So this batch, it has been sorted, scoured, spun, or carded, spun, and finished, and then also dyed in our mill. So, um, yeah, it's really nice. It's all been done under one roof, and then it comes back downstairs to be finished into 100 gram twisted skeins. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's just really nice to know where the fibre has come from to go into all these different blends. But yeah. So yeah, so this is our Guernsey yarn. This came out in March and we absolutely love it and you guys love it too by the scenes by the sounds of it. Um we've loved seeing your projects starting already. Um if you've got any questions about it just drop us a message. Um we're always active on Instagram or even just drop us an email. Um we'd love to help.